have liked, given the security issues that have been raised uh, by, by the, the current war. And, and, you know, you're thinking about it just for a minute. Wait, one, one other point. Let's, let's assume for a minute there was some form of bad, what, what observers call bad peace. Let's assume for a minute that Zelensky said, uh, you know, negotiated an agreement with uh, President Putin, which resulted uh, in a, in a so-called bad peace, uh, surrendering Donbass, whatever, uh, Crimea, uh, in return for security, protection, not joining NATO, etc. Let's assume that, that that is put in place. That doesn't remove the likelihood of continued tensions uh, in Central and Eastern Europe along the, the Russian border uh, with NATO and with non-aligned, currently non-aligned countries like Sweden and Finland. So I, I, I don't, again, don't want to be gloomy but I think life has changed, so it's not as going to be as global. Worldwide GDP growth rates are not going to be as great as they were before. Yes. Um, and if you're running a business uh, like we are trying to do, I think you have to be much more selective in terms of where you place your investments and where you place your emphasis. And that, that emphasis is going to determine uh, how things play out from a geopolitical point of view. And just one other thing, whilst I think 2022 will continue to be a strongish year, that GDP will probably be up by something like, say, three plus percent, which historically pre-COVID is a, a stronger pattern. When you get to 23, I think that's when the rubber hits the road and you may be talking about one and a half, two. And I think Goldman last weekend were talking about 25% or one third probability of recession. Recession in Europe is probably more likely because of the impact of the war is much greater in बिल्कुल तो वक्त वक्त पर इंडिया इकोनॉमी कॉन्क्लेव से दिग्गजों के पैनल जब हमसे बातचीत करें वो हम आप तक पहुंचा रहे हैं और भारत का दबदबा सिर्फ देश ही नहीं विदेश में भी आप देख रहे हैं